All new Peugeot 5008 SUV turns up the style. The new 5008 SUV takes design inspiration from its smaller 3008 sibling, and gets 7 seats as standard. It's not just the 3008 that has undergone a radical transformation in Peugeot's ever-expanding range. The Peugeot 5008 has also been reborn, with the MPV being replaced by a 7-seat SUV. Like its smaller sibling, it'll capitalize on the crossover boom and provide the same sort of practical, versatile family transport as the previous car, but with a healthy dose of rugged style and some off-road ability. This new 5008 shares its stylish SUV design with the 3008. The edgy front end features a bold grille and plenty of off-road inspired details, such as the raised ride height and contrasting plastic cladding on the lower part of the body. The back end apes its younger sibling, too, with three bar lead tail lights, a black strip that carries the rear window line further down and a chrome scuff plate on the boot lip. Stylish diamond cut alloy wheels are offered on both cars. Despite the similar styling, the Peugeot 5008 is significantly larger than the 3008, with the company describing it as the first SUV to offer modularity on PAR with that of the best people carriers. It's longer and wider than the outgoing MPV model, so get 7 seats as standard. Rear legroom has increased by 60 mm, too. Boot space is an impressive 1060 liters with the second row of seats up. That's over double the size of the 3008 S591 liter load area, making the 5008 the obvious choice if you have lots to lug about. In the cabin, the 5008 gets the same upgraded i-cockpit dash design as its smaller brother. That means a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, sitting above a small steering wheel and paired with a new 8-inch central touchscreen, which will be offered on all models. Equipment is much improved over the old car in general, with options such as ambient lighting, massage seats, and wireless smartphone charging all available. Despite the bigger size, it still shares the 3008S engine lineup. That means on the petrol side there's a choice of a 1.2-liter engine or a more powerful 1.6. The 1.2 is a three-cylinder pure tech unit, offering up 1 to 8 bhp and connected to a 6-speed gearbox. The more powerful petrol gives 163 bhp, but is only available with an automatic. For most customers, a torqueier diesel will be a more relaxed option. Again, the choices mirror the 3008S, so the entry-level engine is a 1.6 liter with 118 bhp, offered with a manual or automatic gearbox. Above this is a 2.0-liter engine with 148 bhp or 178 bhp power outputs. Four-wheel drive variants are arriving later, but two-wheel drive models come with Peugeot's advanced grip control for extra traction. Economy and emissions are right up there with the class leaders the cleanest diesel emits just 106g-km of CO2, while even the petrol manages 117g-km. The 5008 is set to arrive in the UK early next year, with prices slightly above the previous model. The striking styling inside and out, as well as the cavernous interior space and new SUV body, are expected to make it a real hit with buyers after a practical, good-looking family car. And when you put the 5008 and 3008 together, they certainly offer far more showroom appeal than their MPV predecessors.